Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and uh, in today's video we're going to check into the 9th of uh, September uh, 2022nd and see what kind of a day is ahead of us and uh, if you are uh, interested in a uh, personal reading with me you can always go to my website uh, which link you can find in the description down below uh, and other than that uh, let's uh, just jump to uh, the daily reading uh, the first card for the day, that's going to be uh, the Sun card. Followed by the second card of the day, we do have the Ten, uh, it's the Ten of Swords. And the final card for the day, uh, that's going to be the uh, Nine of Swords. So these are the three cards and this is how the Elemental Dignities uh, reading stands. Alright guys, Friday is going to be uh, a really great day. Uh, don't get intimidated by the Ten of uh, Swords and also the Nine of Swords. Uh, they catalyze the Sun card and the Sun is really the prime of the reading itself. And the Sun, it, it's a symbol of, uh, of happiness and natural growth. And under natural growth, what I mean, it is wherever or whatever we are good at and we are developing at that point without struggling in it you know toiling and working for it is one thing struggling in it is is completely different so whatever we are working on and um you know things are going on fine with it and so on and so forth it's uh, going to pretty much grow in in its natural course in um uh, in Friday so uh, with the ten of swords being there that card pretty much speaks that we will have to make some kind of like a snap decisions or actions one of the two uh, that will concern in regards to our happiness for example <clears throat> we may have a choice who to go to uh, on a dinner with or who to go on a movie with okay and uh, we can choose only one of the two because these two people hate each other and that is a moment where we have to decide which person we're going to have a better time with okay uh same thing it's with uh it could be with clients or you know uh family members as well depending on your personal situation but that elemental dignity represents and exactly that a ir irrevocable choice where we are going to be more happier than with uh than with the other um with the other option uh, option available and also it may refer about it's not even a sacrifice because by giving whatever some people may consider sacrifice we are not going to feel the loss from it and the reason for that action is because with the sun card we all are going to be that so which is going to drop a bit of happiness everywhere we go so you can expect uh, the environment into your work to be in a great shape you can expect your social circle to uh, or your your time spent into the social circle to be uh, really uh, uh, uplifted and uh, uh, and good and how can i put it into words and uh, and exciting and simply uh simply happy uh also those cards may call for some financial investments because the sun card in its general sense it could speak for a monetary success because that is the only natural development after you did a successful business maneuvers right but if that's um if that's the case uh, then that monetary success will call for some swift actions in order to put it in the bag uh, and uh, the other elemental dignity that we do have with the nine of swords uh, that is simply how can i put it into words realizing that the only thing which prevents us in that particular day to be happy is the fear for example we may obstruct ourselves to participate into an enterprise that is going to make us happy because for example our significant one is not going to like it and we are afraid that they are going to leave us alone well that fear is 
no longer going to be there. Well, it's going to be there, but that's going to be the day where we are to prove that this fear is either celluloid or if it is real, then we don't need that relationship. Same thing about the job, same thing about friendships uh, friendships as well and so it is a day in friday where we are to break down those walls where we are to 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 lift those limitations which have been bestowed upon us uh with uh with um with a threat of a uh, of a fear and uh once we traverse that threshold uh simply we are going to find ourselves quite more happier than uh, than what we were uh, beforehand, and uh, one other thing about these two cards in Friday for some of us that is it is that uh, some of the consequences which which our actions are to manifest in Friday are gonna happen way less damaging than we thought they are going to be. That is, if we do expect some kind of a unpleasant event to happen into, uh, into Friday, that event is not going to be as unpleasant as we thought that is going to be. And that also is going to make us happy because we are, for all it's worth for us um, and for all we care, we are going to consider it as we have dodged a bullet. Uh, if you do want to be happy, at Friday, guys, make someone you love happy and uh, you are not going to make mistake with that act. And that is uh, the daily reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.